the Ensetti ventriscosum morellii, a fast-growing jungle giant with rich, lush red and green leaves. A spectacular but tender plant that's no match for minus temperatures here in the UK. I'm relieved to say that I've successfully overwintered it for the first time this year and this is how I did it. So in late autumn, my daughter and I got it out of the ground and into a pot, ready to begin the overwintering process. I was really proud of how big it was, but I was apprehensive about losing it also. So we got it into the conservatory, cut all of the leaves off, turned it upside down and got rid of as much soil as we could, let it drain of any excess moisture, then turned it right way up and it sat in that pot for four months. So the next job for today is to make a start on waking up this Ensetti morellii. Now it seems to me to be in all right condition. It's dried out, it's pretty firm. And there is the makings, or at least was the makings of a leaf there at the top. It's time to get it awake and I'll be following the method that Yorkshire Chris used or uses. I watched one of his videos uh, for some advice on this and I'll link it in the description box below so that you can have a look. But essentially I'll be sitting it on top of uh, some multi-purpose compost mixed with perlite. I won't be water watering it too much while it's still dormant and it's gonna be in a cool place. So I'm not gonna be um, giving it too much water. So as you can see, there are some old dried roots left on here, but I'll cut these down before I sit it on top of the compost. So here goes. Here is my compost mix. It is multi-purpose compost with some perlite and some slow-releasing fertiliser inside there with a little bit of grit as well. <laughs> 